In this video, we will be troubleshooting the iDrive 300 single phase 3 wire 970 0013 XXM motor controller. With your line in and your motor out wiring connected and no motor movement, it's time to determine why. We recommend a meter when doing this troubleshooting. We also recommend manually placing the vent or shade in a centralized position, preferably 50% open. Now next, we want to check the J2 portion of the PCB on the door on the very left corner. There is a power LED. Now, if the power LED is not lit up, you want to make sure the red voltage selector wire is positioned in the correct terminal block. You also can meter the voltage in. To make sure that the voltage is in fact coming to the I drive. If not, check your circuit breaker. You also may want to check the inline fuse of the I drive to make sure the inline fuse is not blown. If the inline fuse is in fact blown, replace it. You can also meter the blue and yellow wire going to the iDrive board and make sure that it's 24 volt to 26 volt VAC which is in fact the power that's powering this PCB. Now if the power light does light up, what you want to do is turn the front selector dial first to the open position and as you can see there's a red limit light engaging then to the close position and also there's a red limit light engaging. Now if, if the vent or curtain will open all the way but not close or close all the way and not open and you get the red limit switch LED lighting up you want to check your limit wiring and double check how you set your limit switches making sure everything is set and installed correctly. You can also move the bypass jumpers in the bypass position to check the functionality of the iDrive. Now let's go ahead and turn the front selector switch to open. And as you can see, the left open contactor engages. Let's go ahead and turn the front selector switch to close. Now the right close contactor engages. Now if you turn the selector switch to open, and close and no contactors engage, you may want to check the thermal overload trip switch which by lifting this plastic cover is on the right side and what we can do is show you how it looks when it's tripped. If it's tripped, this is popped up like that if it's in fact tripped and to set it all you got to do is basically press that down like that to reset it. And that could be a factor why your contactors are not engaging. When it comes to the thermal overload being tripped, if it continues to trip, you want to compare the amperage draw from the motor plate to the setting of the arc portion of the thermal overload and make sure it's within the thermal's range. We could also do a motor output test as well. And to do a motor output test, all you're simply going to do is check the motor voltage output as follows. We're going to put the meter on the open position and on neutral here. And then we're going to turn the front selector switch to the open position. As you can see, the open light turns on, the contactor engages, and we got voltage going through. Switch my meter to the close and neutral, 
and flip the dial to the closed position. And you see voltage going through the closed and neutral terminal blocks. In conclusion, if we're still having problems with this iDrive motor controller, we'll have to take it to the next level by checking the high voltage side wiring. And we'll do that in our next iDrive video. And that's our basic understanding video of troubleshooting the iDrive single phase three wire 970-0013-XXM motor controller. Thank you.